donut, pretend that's the microphone. Why not? That's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. Nah, uh, that'll fall apart. That one is too much. Those things are brewing too. Oh, oh, you're you're trying to do that without spilling, ready? Hello, welcome back to Muscle Song TV. We're here with uh, the best bodybuilder to ever come out of Australia, Lee Priest. Oh, yeah. Next, you got the Josh and say the same thing. Yeah, we are. I'm going to say that to Josh. Yeah. Yeah. Who else have we said it to today? Uh, <laughs> said it to Sergio Jr. <laughs> you just come said out of Australia. <laughs> Listen, what's it like being back in the Expos? You haven't been here in a while, and it's good to see you finally back. You're here with uh, Mike and Lipwear, uh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's still, it, no, Expos never change, and you know, it is. You always get the good fans in here, you got the good hardcore fans, you got the idiot fans, and you got the ones that just come looking for free shit. So, you know, <laughs> expos never change. <laughs> we're, we're, we're in the idiot category, I think. <laughs> Try to hold that microphone. Wait, 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 hold that microphone. Yeah, yeah, you went a little bit that microphone. Yeah, sorry, right. How's that nerve damage? Have you come back? Uh, uh, still shit, I haven't had the operation yet. and. Like I said, my sponsors say they're going to fix it. You got other people saying they do stem cell, but just all talk. So yeah. until finally someone fixes it, it's just still yeah. fucked up. So at the, the comeback still maybe on the back burner? Yeah, until the dick gets done, then I'll see what happens after that. So yeah. just got to wait for that to get done first to see what happens. Everything's out, but at the moment, everyone says they can do this, do that, but nothing Bobby's happens. For it, yeah. Typical fucking bodybuilding talk, you know? 100%. <laughs> Um, are you going to go and check out the pro show tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah, Tony got me some tickets, so I'll see where I'm sitting, yeah. Might yeah. be up in the nosebleed section, yeah, but, I you think know, i got to work my way back to the front. Yeah, there's <laughs> seats next to the tallest guy, I think yeah. you've got those seats, yeah. <laughs> but, um, who do you, who do you, who's your pick for tonight? Like, you obviously know who's competing. Uh, no, I don't really, because I uh, That's why I said that, because I didn't know whether or not you actually did. Uh, but let's just pick from all bodybuilding. Yeah, on. let's just pick from our Aussies. We've got a Josh, obviously, there. We've got yeah. Steve Warden from New Zealand. Justin Westers is making his, well, not his pro debut, but his debut here in Australia. Sam Pierce is another one. Well, you know, well, you know, Justin's going to come in with conditioning no matter what, but, you know, he's going to lack in the size there, so. Yeah. And with, um, or the others is really just who's going to be in shape because really anyone it's not like we've seen bodybuilding before anyone on any given day can be up there it's just going to be on the day if they've got the conditioning right you know you know joshua had the size at the arnold but his conditioning wasn't there so yeah. everyone was hoping he was going to get the top three at least but then you know if the conditioning's not there it doesn't matter how big you are so that's right he has dropped 10 pounds for this one so what do you yeah. reckon today 10 pounds you think that was enough yeah well it's hard to say what he's going to be up against because we saw what bonac and that looked like so yeah, he might have dropped 10 pounds, but then there's Bonnet come in tight, or if Bonnet slipped up and he comes in 10 pounds, then Josh can get him. So, yeah, that's so like right. I said, you never know that a night to show or a day to show, because so many times you see in magazines, or with the internet now, magazines, fuck, who has magazines now? Yeah. But on the internet, you know, you see pictures two weeks out of guys, and you think, fuck, he's going to win, it looks great. Day to show, you're always like, what happened? You know, what did you do wrong? And like I said, it just comes down to, I think guys just try and overthink it these days. They try and get too scientific where if you stick to the basics, if you look a good two weeks out, don't go changing anything, you know, but for yeah. some reason bodybuilders think this last week of contest prep, they've got to do some magic, hocus pocus bullshit, which normally backfires. So, yeah. like I said, if you're looking great, don't touch it. And that comes down to any category, I think, any division. It does. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Actually, I just said that I was going to do it. One of our local boys, Aaron Ballard, has just won his first pro show last uh -huh. weekend. He's qualified for the Olympia in the 212s. Any advice you could give to him? Okay. He's, obviously, he's looked up. He's looked up you for a long Don't time. Put microphone on his shirt. Yeah, yeah, that'll no, be good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I said, it's, it's good that he won his first pro show, but then it's like it's probably disappointing. He probably didn't have much competition, but you can only compete with what turns up yeah. in the daytime thing. So, you know, when he gets to the states and that gets to Olympia, it will be a good test for him because, like I said, you know, competing with Australians and New Zealanders is a lot different. Uh, when you get to the real stage over there, so it will be a test to see what happens. So, you know, yeah. just a matter of, as I said, don't go do anything crazy and just, you know, when I used to go to contests, I didn't even worry about who was in the show. It's all about you really just being better than yourself. So, as long as you come in 100%, then until the day to show, you just never know what's going to happen. So, and even now, next year's Olympia, well, he's going to do the Olympia well, or oh, this year, isn't it? Like I said, the only one, what, Flex won't be doing it, so can be really anyone's, you know, because yeah, Jose right, Raymond's yeah. out. He's so. be back up, I think, against Ahmed Ashkenani. I think he'll be back there, so it'd be good to talk class. And Dave Henry's normally, if he's in it again, and people like that, so. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Well, look, we're not going to hold you up too long, because you do have a lineup of people, and I'm not just taking the piss. We did that with um, Sean Roden last year, but he, 
Lee does, Chili does have a lineup of people who want to take photos. <laughs> I say thank you for uh, letting us use your microphone. You can eat my microphone. You, you can eat it. It'll yeah, oh, look really oh, sexual at my venue right now. <laughs> 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 All right, buddy. Thanks, Lee. That's actually bigger than your testicles, isn't it? 100% it would be right now. I wish my testicles were this big. That's before the year. Funny people. See you later, Lee Priest. Thank you. Good seeing you. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. You're welcome.